In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the split command in VBA to be able to split a series of different elements in a string into an array and then get the values out of that array into different cells in your Excel worksheet. So in this example, I have a first and a last name over here in a column A. And I'd like to do is I'd split out a given name and a last name here. And so we need to be able to parse these into two pieces. And in this example, there's just two names for each person. So how do we do this? Well, we need to get this string, this string of characters into a variable. And so in this case, I've gone into the spreadsheet and taken the value out of a cell and written it into my string variable. Okay. Then the other thing we need to do is we're going to declare a variant. And a variant is a type of variable which we don't usually use, but it is really handy in special cases. And the special case that's really handy for is when we are going to make something that is variable. So and what I mean by that is uh, if we need to make an array or a series of things that has two, three, four, five, or six, or whatever, or as many values in it as we need to, by declaring it a variant, then we're able to have flexibility in terms of how many entries are going to be created. And I'll show you how that works in just a minute. Let's go ahead and start working through this script. So basically, we go into our sheet, and then we go and we activate our first name. We set the row so that we can write things out to other columns in this row. And then we begin a loop that starts working on each row at a time. We read the string in. Now here is where the split happens. So we're going to take my string and then whatever is in between these in between these quotes is going to be the thing that is going to be the delimiter of the split. Since we have since we have spaces over here, then that will be used to be able to split my string into a series of values in an array. Now let's go ahead and do that. So when I execute uh, the, this command to do the split, then what happens is it made a array down here. And in the array we have in the first element of the array, which is position 0, we have the first name. And in, this, in the position 1, which is uh, array index 1, we have Hannah. Uh, and so basically what's happening is uh, it created an array which had two storage locations in it and then gave them an index that they can be used to be able to access things. All right, so now we need to be able to go get those things out of there. So by using, by saying my array and then putting the indexes in there, then we can reference different values and write them into the cells that we want to write them into. So the first name, in our case, the first name is array 0, uh, which is the given name. So we can go over here, and it looks like I got these backwards. So into J, we'll put the given name. And then into I, then we'll do the last name or the surname. So now moving forward with the script, then we've got Ann, which is the given name, and then Hannah, which is her last name, in there. and then we move down to the next record and we continue to progress here until we get the various names written down in the script. So that's to show you how this split will create an array. Now I also just want to show you one more example so you can just see this work in another context. So in this next example I have given a city, state, and zip code and they're separated by, by commas instead of spaces. Now we can adapt our script here. So now I'm on sheet two. So I'll just change this so it's operating under sheet two instead of sheet one. We'll go down still to A2 and activate that. Now this time, instead of having a space as a separator, we have a comma as a separator. All right. And then the other thing that's going to happen, in fact, let's just go this far. And you're going to see it's going to make three entries. So I'm going to have to go down and just change something down here. But as we go down in here and create this. When we get down to the split here, now my array has 
three different positions in it. So this is an example of how this variant command is allowing the variant have as many entries in the array as it needs be. So it basically read in three and created an array that has three positions in here. And so now to be able to write this out into the cells, I need to have one more row here. And so, and let's change these now. So the, we're going to have city. And that's going to go in column C. And then we're going to have state in column D. And then we're going to have zip that's going to go in column E. And we need to change this over here so our index will be right. All right, so now we should be able to run the script and have it create the arrays and write those values out to the various columns. So that's how you use arrays and the split command.